Hello YouTube, I'm David Boucher and welcome back to day 15 of my six month life transformation chronicle. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Houston, but I'm still in the thicker button up shirt because it's chilly outside and uh, it's going to get colder tomorrow. So you'll probably see me in some, something thicker than this. But um, anyways, let's get into it. So how are the steps going for you? Uh, so mine, um, you know, I'm taking steps every day, obviously, but uh, mine that's kind of different today is I'm designing a business card. So I know that it's uh, 2018 and, you know, people might say, ah, you know, business cards are old fashioned, but I still do find that having a nice business card is an easy way to make a good first impression and just give someone your contact details, right? Like you don't have to say, well, I'll send you an email or, you know, go check me out on LinkedIn. It's just, here it is. And there you go. And it's a good segue into something I want to share with you today. Uh, I've, over the years, I've come up with a lot of resources uh, that make things a lot easier. So, if, you know, in 2018, you don't have to do everything yourself and you certainly don't have to pay a lot of money to have other people do it. I've found that you can either fully outsource for cheaply or, you know, hack together with, with a, another service that you can use. And so for me, one that I've used constantly since I discovered it is uh, called Canva. So it's like Canvas without the, without the S. And I'll post the link in the description below. It's called Canva.com. And Canva was built with the idea of democratizing design. Um, that speaks very, uh, very strongly to me because although I like to think that I know what looks nice, if you actually sat down and said, design a nice looking flyer, I, I wouldn't know where to start. And I guarantee you that what I came up with wouldn't look particularly good. So Canva is a website where you can choose templates for anything. So Facebook posts, business cards, flyers, you name it. You can even create custom templates if you want. But so you'll pick like say a business card and so you'll click business card and then there's hundreds of templates that you can use that are designed by the Canva team. So you select a template and they've got beautiful colors, they mix and match fonts. It's just, it's all very tasteful. And then you can put your own twist so you can change all the colors, the fonts, the sizes. But the important thing is, is that you have a starting point, which is the hardest part for me. There is a pro version you can use. I think it's like $12 a month and it gets you some extra functionality. Uh, I don't have that and it's still great. The only other payment uh, would be that if you go beyond what they label as free, which is still a very large catalog, uh, it costs a dollar um, every time you use it within 24 hours. So let's say you use an icon that is, is part of the paying pack, you know, you'll download it. Uh, pay a dollar and if in a week's time you go back and make changes, it's another dollar. But if you don't, you've only paid a dollar. So it's incredibly cheap. It's fantastically powerful. And, um, you know, a graphic designer friend in the office who was, you know, he was known for, you know, very nice PowerPoints and flyers and things like that. I told him about it and he said, wow, this saved me three hours, three hours off of, off of this last project that I had to do. So if you also struggle with graphic design or if you just want, you know, or if you, if you do it and you just want some other inspiration, I, I highly, highly recommend it. Now, I think a, a bigger topic of this video, but something I will mention because it, it does kind of tie into something I always talk about, uh, is that if, if I'm a graphic designer and if you're a graphic designer, uh, we should all be scared because I'm someone who five years ago, maybe even three years ago before I found out about this, I might have hired someone to do this for me, just like how before I discovered Squarespace, which I'll probably talk about some other time, I would probably have hired a web designer, right? But I can get something very passable um, here, like at this moment by myself. And the trick with all these tools, so like a business card, for example, my business is probably gonna change. I don't even know where it's going. So do I need to spend 10 or 20 hours turning into Steve Jobs going, I want that font and this color scheme I would argue no. I mean, whereas my client work, obviously everything's got to be as perfect as I can get it. The business card, I think, will probably take a back seat to that. And there's not a lot of point in me spending tons of time on it when I know it's probably going to change down the line as my business changes down the line. So I have a tool to basically put a very good looking first pass forward just by myself. And this is kind of a, a constant theme that I'm sure everyone's well aware of. And it's that you, you have to be multi multidisciplinary and it's not enough I think, just to deliver a product in the end, right? So I cannot just be like a database analyst, right? I have to understand the industry and the context in it to not only query the database, but also come up with new ways to, of looking at the data. 
I can't just be a graphic designer. I have to be someone who understands the industry I'm in so that I can maybe do some analysis and make a really good looking report, right? So that's where I, I come at it from. I come at it from, I do really good data in oil and gas, for example, and now I have this tool with Canva to provide that in a very nice, neat looking package, right? So I think that this theme of technology coming for your job and, and my job, by the way, that's always on the back of my mind. And it's, it's a reason why I'm constantly saying, yeah, well, today I'm doing programming and another day I'm writing and another day I'm, I'm tutoring. Because I think that you have to have, you know, a plan A, B, C, and D nowadays to account for whatever it is that technology is gonna throw your way. I mean, Udemy as well, I paid $10 for a data science course and I'm getting tremendous value out of that. Whereas, you know, a couple years back, you might not even have been able to, to find that anywhere in such a concise package. So all of these shortcuts and resources I'm gonna share with you over time, uh, they're, they're hugely useful for consumers, right? But I think that the bigger picture, which I'm obviously not gonna grapple with here, is, um, is this idea that, yeah, it's gonna displace a lot of people. And so, you know, the takeaway for today is just, you know, go check out Canva, first of all. But, you know, as you, you use that, think, think about what the implications are for you and for, for everyone else and, and how you, you mitigate that going forward, right? I mean, that's something that's always in the back of my mind as I, as I go forward and grow my competencies and, and try and do work for as many people as possible. Uh, so I know, very broad topic to cover in such a short video, but uh, that's, all, that's what's on my mind today. So I encourage you to take that next step for tomorrow, maybe visiting uh, Canva and signing up for an account. And I will see you all tomorrow on day 16. Thank you so much.